Okay, Assalamualaikum dan selamat uh, petang. Uh, today I will uh, uh, make a video, lecture video for subjector 2.3 manipulate list for Python. Okay, so last time we have learned okay about 2.1 and 2.2 which is uh, about uh, the relational operator in Python and also the conditional operator. So, condition operator, we have condition statement and looping statement. So, now we go straight to the uh, list for Python. So, this is your sub-subjector for 2.3. Okay, you need to know how to explain about list, list method, list element, and the most important, you need to know how to construct this in simple program. A simple program, not a very... Uh, difficult program eh don't worry so uh, list ok so before I start with list I will need to um, explain to you about a python collection also known as array ok so in python ok they have 4 types of collection data types ok there is known as a list a tuple a set and a dictionary so what the difference with all this is a uh, list is a collection which is order and changeable. Mean it is in order, okay? Banana, apple, cherry in order, okay? And all the order can be changeable, okay? It's all also allow duplicate. You can have the same item, okay? In the list, okay? That is a for list. Okay, tuple. What is tuple? Tuple means it's order. Okay, apple, banana, cherry, and unchangeable. Okay, means banana, ap apple, banana, cherry, is cannot be a, a, a change. It must stick. Okay, in order. Okay, but tuple allow for duplicate. Means if you want to put another one which is apple, it should be no problem. Okay. A set. What is a set? Set is a collection. It's unordered. Unordered. It can be uh, apple, banana, cherry. It can be swapped between them. And unindexed. But there should be no duplicate. It cannot be duplicate. And then what is a dictionary? So a dictionary is unordered and changeable. Okay. It's unordered and changeable. It can be changed but it cannot allow for so why we need all this type of a uh, collection? Because sometimes when you do a program, sometimes uh, you need a set of array of a collection. The collection of array is almost the same. Okay, we should be changeable, but should be ordered. Uh, so this one you should use this. Okay, but sometimes we want is changeable but unordered. We can be you can put the input anywhere you want in the in the array in the collection and it doesn't care about the index so this is we can use dictionary okay so in the coding what the difference so for the list usually we use a square bracket okay for the tuple we use the rounded bracket for the set okay we use the bracket and a rounded okay for dictionary we use the curly braces okay so let's say if you find um code from using all these bracket uh rounded braces and curly braces you can know oh this is type a list this is type is a dictionary or this one is a set okay based on the type okay of the braces Okay, now uh, we go to Python list. Okay, so list usually used to store multiple items in a single variable. That's why list is type of array. Okay, array in a program it can store many items. Okay, instead of one. Okay, so list are uh, one of the four built in data type uh, for collection. Okay, so created using square bracket so this is the example the example i have done it previously okay sorry right. so i have 
Oh no, this is fine. Okay. So this list apple, banana, cherry. Okay, when I print it, this list it will appear apple, banana, and cherry. Okay, now characteristic of item, eh, of leaf item. Okay, so in list it can be ordered. It can be changed and it allow duplicate. Okay, means okay if index the first is zero, the second must have index one. Means it's ordered lah. Okay, when we say ordered, means the item have defined order, and the order will not change. Means index zero and index one. If you add new item to a list, the new item will be placed at the end of the list. Okay, but means the top word mean kat sini contoh apple, banana, cherry when you add under the one it will be on the uh, back of the cherry lah ok changeable what's mean changeable means you can add and you can remove all the item in the list ok after it's been printed it's no problem it's, it's changeable ok what the mean is on load applicate means you have you can have a lot uh, the same information ok example eh this one ok so apple so, we want to have another one, apple. Okay, so I type apple. I have another one, it's cherry. Okay, enter. So, when I print this list, you see? Apple, banana, cherry, apple, cherry. Mean, I add another two, apple and cherry. Okay, so apple, apple is the same. Cherry, cherry is the same. So, should be no problem. Okay. So, link list. Okay. So, you can know the length. Okay. By using the uh, function length. Okay. This list. Okay. So, length is 5. How that you get 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, list can be any of data type. Means, if you want it to be numbers, if you want it to be billion, as you want to be speech, should be no problem. And it once if you want all the information in the list, okay, for list, different type of data have no problem. Example, eh, make list one, okay, okay, ABC. Right, then use a number 34 Then I use boolean And number 40 And the string mail Okay And the square bracket I'm sorry To ask something Hmm Okay, sorry There is no equal here We need to have equal Okay, equal here Okay, so we print Okay, this one. You see what happened? So all the item appear is printed. Okay, so they have no problem. You can shuffle all the data type into this. Okay, so from Python perspective, you can define object with the data type. This should be no problem. So example, eh, this one. The previous one, eh, cherry. I want to know the uh, data type. So I type use the function type. Okay, this this. Okay. So class is list. Okay, class is list. Right. Right. Mm hmm. So let's say if you use the constructor list, you can also use the constructor list. Okay, like this one. This is what I have done previously. Okay, just add another one is this one. Like this. Okay. List. Okay. So when we print this list, you see, you got the list. 
Okay, it's the same. Okay, either you use the list or you don't use the list. Python by default, they know that it's a list. Okay. So, Python method. So, this is good from this uh, website. Eh? So, Python method, they have a lot of method in of Python. So, this is the most uh, used one. Okay, you can use insert, remove, pop, here, index. Okay, so, you can use for this all method in list. Which one, which the way is you can happen, let's say, happen, you want to add. Okay, to the list method. Okay. So, I don't give you the example here because I want you to try and find the example. Please, okay, after this lecture, find all the example of Python method for list. Okay. So, it can be happen, extend, insert, insert if you want to insert to the index. Remove, you want to remove. Okay. Let's say you want to remove this. So, how can you remove it? Uh, so there is a way for you to do that okay so in this and you can count you can also sort to the ascending or descending you can also reverse and copy okay so this is the example assess how can you assess uh, the list index okay so for you to assess list index in list there are two ways the first we will use a list index. So for list index mean they start with zero. It's always start with zero from the first list and up to the, the last one lah. Okay. So if you access in that other than this, let's say they have let's say this one have one, two, three, four, five. Mean it start with zero, one, two, three, four. So if you want to access the fifth, you will have problem because the index only 0 until 4. Okay. Right then, you cannot use the float type. We need to use uh, in type. Okay. Alright. So, this is example lah. Okay. So, as you can see here. Right. I try this one at least P. Okay. Then, we have R. And we have O. And we have B. And we also have E. Okay. Alright. Now, I want to access the index 0. So, I can print my list. Go to index 0. And you want, I want to know. Where is it in the 0? So, that is a P. So, let's say if I want... 4, okay 1, 2, 3, 4 It should be E Okay, let's say if I put it as a 5 What happened? It will be indexed out of range Why? Because it should be only 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 Until 4 index only Okay, so all this one you can try yourself Okay, now Negative index Now another one is you can do a negative index so, it's allowed for negative index, okay, for uh, list element. So, for list element, it will start with the last one, okay. So, okay, so let's say if neg positive, it start this one, will start with zero. But if the negative is that, uh, index, it will start with the last one. So, the last one will start with negative one. It doesn't start with zero. Okay, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So, let's say, okay, print negative 5. See what will happen. I got a P. So, this is negative 5. Okay, you have put a negative 1, it will be E. So, E. So, that's mean negative. It backward. Negative index means it backward. Positive index is go forward lah. Okay. So, this is uh, what I say just now. Okay, so index means positive index. Okay, we start with 0. For negative, we start with negative 1. On the last one, the last of the list. Okay. So, now what I want you to do. Okay, actually, this is the last slide. Okay, the end of the chapter 2. 
Okay, what I want you to do, this is the individual task. Okay, I want you all to construct this in a simple program. Okay, you have the uh, list Python class. Okay, so I want you to use the Python list method. I want you to construct program as per instruct below. The first, okay, in this Python class, happen the word December 2020. Okay, then remove of the word word. Or the word word mean A-E-I-O-U. Okay. Count the number of lists. Okay, after you apply, after you remove, I want you to count the list. Okay, in the argument. Okay, what is all? The list, how many is it? Okay, then sort the list in ascending. Oh, sorry, it should be not ascending. Ah, uh, it's okay lah, boleh lah. Ascending order. Okay, when you do sort in ascending, I want you to reverse. Reverse back. Okay, so your life answer. Okay, you go after you do all the this one. Okay, I want you to upload. Okay, to Zidos. Okay, so I will open a uh, assignment for you to submit this one. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much. So make sure you do this individual task. By the way, you can uh, for this task. You can discuss with your friend. Should be no problem. But I want you all to do it individually after that. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Bye bye.